At just six months into the year, SpaceX's 45 rocket launches have set a new world record for the highest number of successful launches in the aerospace industry. The undisputed title belongs to the Falcon family, accounting for 44 of the total launches. The key to this resounding success lies in the remarkable engineering prowess of Merlin engines, which power the Falcon 9 rocket. These highly innovative rocket engines marked a massive milestone, not only securing SpaceX's leading position, but also breaking Russia's monopoly on launching payloads to the ISS. So what is it about the Merlin engine that makes it so special? And how can the Merlin engine kick Russia out of their exclusive launches to the ISS? Stay tuned as we dive into these topics and more in this episode of Alpha Tech. Amidst the ongoing discussions surrounding the Starship's Raptor engine, we may have overlooked the importance of the Falcon 9's engine, the Merlin engine, which laid the foundation for SpaceX's development. Even today, because of this ingenuity and attention to detail, thanks to SpaceX's skilled engineer, it remains an amazing piece of engineering brilliance. The Merlin engine is a gas generator cycle engine that runs on RP-1 and was primarily developed by SpaceX engineer Tom Mueller, one of the early employees of the company. Thanks to SpaceX's continuous development approach, the Merlin engine currently holds the title for the highest thrust-to-weight ratio among operational engines. With a thrust-to-weight ratio of 184, the Merlin engine even surpasses the Raptor 2 engine in terms of thrust-to-weight ratio, which is 144. This is a nice touch that sets the Merlin engine apart. When the thrust-to-weight ratio is high, you might think that the weight added by the higher thrust of the engine would be relatively small compared to the fully-fueled second-stage rocket it propels. But for the first-stage rocket landing of the rocket in the unique way that SpaceX did, the high thrust-to-weight ratio helps reduce the amount of propellant needed for landing, and that propellant weight adds up significantly. Recently, SpaceX has employed a unique technique for the vacuum Merlin engine used in the upper stage of the Falcon 9 rocket. The engine used in their rockets now features a noticeable absence. A significant portion of the nozzle is missing. In traditional rocket engines, the nozzle plays a crucial role in optimizing thrust and propulsion efficiency. The complete nozzle design ensures that the exhaust gases are directed in a precise and controlled manner, maximizing the engine's performance. However, by choosing to omit a substantial part of the nozzle, SpaceX has opted for a configuration that deviates from conventional wisdom. While this design may seem counterintuitive, as it sacrifices efficiency, SpaceX remains undeterred. They've meticulously developed and fine-tuned a working method that consistently yields successful outcomes. SpaceX announced on Twitter that a shorter second-stage nozzle will be used when we don't need as much performance to get the payload to its final destination. By saving the nozzle portion of the engine, SpaceX can achieve some benefits. First, SpaceX can significantly reduce production timelines, enabling them to deliver their rockets to the launch pad faster. This time advantage can be crucial in meeting tight mission schedules and ensuring timely deployments of satellites or other payloads. In addition to time savings, reducing the weight of the engine plays a pivotal role in optimizing the overall rocket performance. This enhanced payload capacity can enable the launch of larger satellites or facilitate the inclusion of supplementary equipment, expanding the capabilities of each mission. Finally, SpaceX can reduce production costs, making their launches more financially viable. This cost efficiency is crucial in the context of the increasingly competitive space industry, where companies strive to offer affordable and accessible launch services. Besides, SpaceX still uses the full-size Merlin vac nozzles on missions that require a more significant amount of thrust or contain a heavier payload. Another notable aspect that cannot be overlooked is the impressive power of the Merlin 1D engine. It's capable of producing over 1.7 million pounds of thrust upon liftoff. Equipped with nine of these engines, the 229-foot-tall Falcon 9 rocket stands as the most powerful single-core vehicle in the American fleet. The second stage of the Falcon 9 is driven by a single Merlin engine, which can carry an impressive payload of 25 tons to low-Earth orbit. 
In recent years, advancements have led to the development of the Merlin 1D vacuum engines with an astounding pushing capacity of 80 tons and a specific impulse of 282 seconds after several years of use. The design features of the Merlin engines further showcase their engineering excellence. The Merlin engines utilize a dependable turbo pump design featuring a single shaft that drives the liquid oxygen pump, fuel pump, and turbine. It rotates at a speed of 36,000 revolutions per minute and generates 10,000 horsepower or 7,500 kilowatts to power the engine. Unlike the more complex stage combustion cycle used by some engines, the Merlin engine utilizes a gas generator cycle, streamlining the overall design and increasing operational efficiency. Additionally, the regeneratively cooled thruster chamber features a milled copper alloy liner that provides ample heat flux margins, enhancing performance and durability. One notable design feature of the Merlin engine is the Pintle injector, which ensures inherent combustion stability. This injector, originally used in the Apollo Lunar Module landing engine, enables precise control of the propellant flow and contributes to the engine's overall reliability and performance. These design choices reflect SpaceX's commitment to engineering innovation and optimization, resulting in an engine that pushes the boundaries of what's achievable in space travel. The pride in the Merlin engines doesn't stop there. In addition to their technical strengths, one of the key highlights of the Merlin engine is undoubtedly their reusability and reliability. According to data from Daily Astronaut reports, these engines boast an impressive reliability rate of 99.9%. The Merlin engine has undergone extensive testing, including multiple static fire tests and numerous successful launches. It has also been designed with redundancy and fault tolerance in mind to enhance its reliability. SpaceX has consistently strived to enhance the engine's performance and resolve any identified sources by implementing iterative design changes and rigorous testing. Essentially, SpaceX has utilized a proven and relatively simple rocket design and optimized it through modern materials and advanced manufacturing techniques. Furthermore, the Merlin engine's reusability plays a role in its reliability. They can be reused for approximately 10 flights, making them incredibly cost-effective and efficient for SpaceX's mission objectives. SpaceX opted for the size of the Merlin engine for production reasons. Instead of manufacturing one or a few large engines using traditional manual methods, they employed a rational assembly line in modern processes. This approach allows them to produce their engines at a significantly lower cost with fewer stability issues. If you're a fan of SpaceX, you've probably noticed the consistent approach of choosing to manufacture and integrate multiple smaller rocket engines instead of fewer larger ones, which was previously done with the Falcon 9 and its Merlin engines. The reason for this, Elon once explained, it's sort of like the way modern computer systems are set up, Musk said. With Google or Amazon, they have large numbers of small computers, such that if one of the computers goes down, it doesn't really affect your use of Google or Amazon. That's different from the old model of the mainframe approach when you have one big mainframe, and if it goes down, the whole system goes down. And in the end, it's better to use a large number of small engines, Musk said. It was Elon's unwavering determination and courage to face failure that made the difference. At the time, the unique Merlin engine coexisted with the Falcon 9 rocket and achieved important accomplishments. What's more remarkable is that it delivered an unforgettable blow to the Russian aerospace industry. In early 2022, Russia's state space corporation Roscosmos issued its round of threats in response to global sanctions that this time claiming Russia would no longer sell rocket engines to the U.S., the former administrator of Roscosmos, Dmitry Rogozin, announced the new policy in an interview with the Russian channel. Today, we have made the decision to halt the deliveries of rocket engines produced by NPO Energomash to the United States. Let me remind you that these deliveries had been quite intensive somewhere since the mid-1990s. Rogozin also added, let them fly on something else, their broomsticks, I don't know what. It was indeed regrettable for the former head of Roscosmos. This seemed a very serious problem for the U.S. space industry, but Rogozin may have forgotten about the existence of the SpaceX Merlin engine. 
At that point, in response to Rogozin's mockery when calling U.S. rockets broomsticks, Elon Musk shared a video of SpaceX launching 47 Starlink satellites on a Falcon 9 at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Unsurprisingly, Rogozin's mouth was shut by this. More than that, the Falcon 9 remains tirelessly engaged as the primary rocket responsible for crucial missions within the U.S., including the transportation of cargo and crew to the International Space Station. The combination of Merlin engines and the Falcon 9 has exerted dominance without encountering the slightest risk of uncertainty. In fact, one could consider it a golden opportunity, a testament to the remarkable capabilities and unwavering reliability that the Merlin engines bring to the table. With their exceptional performance and unmatched track record, they've solidified their positions as the backbone of SpaceX's ambitious space exploration endeavors, paving the way for future achievements and opening doors to boundless possibilities in the cosmos. And that's all for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comments section below. Your feedback is very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.